friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna do a project pan update. Um, I have some like bad news to report about this project. So we'll go ahead and start with like what I'm categorizing as my like project pan fails. Uh, the first thing that I have is the Rimmel London Quad in Sun Safari. I um, hit pan on this shade. But the reality is, because I'm doing a Pan That Palette challenge, I am much more invested in using up those shadows, and I don't really love these colors. I basically got this for nothing, and I don't feel the need to keep working with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter this and call it a quits, because I do have Pan on both of them, so I have gotten use. The pans are also like hard to get product out of because of the format, like the triangle size of them. So, you know, whatever, satisfied, call it a quits. The other two that I think I have to call a quits on because I can't say 100%, but I'm like 90% sure that I was getting issues with these. The first is the e.l.f. Glitter Primer. If you look closely at this, I thought that these were like air bubbles or something inside here. I don't know how long I've had this. I don't think it was personally that long. I feel like I got it within the last year and I had never noticed this before, but when I started to use this consistently, I all of a sudden was getting like little bumps it wasn't pimples, but it was like little bumps underneath my skin. And I was like, well, is it this primer? Like, let me take out something else and use it. And about a week later, a week of not using this, those little bumps went away. Now, I had never noticed that before because I had never consistently used it. I would use it like randomly here and there. So part of me is tempted to buy another one of these because it's not that expensive and see if that happens again. I've also considered like, using this again consistently to see if that happens but then i'm kind of like is it worth it like clearly the only thing you changed about your eyeshadow format was the primer and the little bumps went away after you were done using this so i don't know because this to me really is comparable to the Too Faced shadow insurance they don't have the same ingredients because i did like actually do some research and they aren't at all the same but they have the same effect for my eyes when I apply the eyeshadow so I'm tempted to buy another one of these and try it out but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter this out of my life um, I actually very interestingly had the same reaction to the Too Faced primed poreless and pure this um, is a silicone base and I've used plenty of silicone based primers and again I'm not 100% certain that this was causing it and I may actually try this again just because I constantly am rotating skincare and stuff so that could have also caused it but um a couple weeks ago I was washing my face in the morning and all of a sudden like right on this part of my face I was feeling like texture like little bumps again not pimples but it was like underneath my like I feel like my like outer layer of skin and I, I have, not to be like vain, I have very soft skin on my face and I don't really have any texture. So I couldn't figure out what it was. I was like, is it my blush? Like I've been using this blush from the bomb for a long time. Like I've not noticed that, like maybe it's that. And then I was like, maybe it's this face wash. Like I'm not really sure. And so I started to just like play around with a combination of not using certain things. And it wasn't until I stopped using this for about a week that those bumps went away and they haven't come back since. Even when I brought back the face wash I was using, even when I brought back the blush. So it leads me to believe that it was this, which if I'm being honest, I don't really like this stuff anyway, so it's not a big deal. But it also sucks because I paid not full price for this. I think it was half off, but I paid money for this. And had I used it back when I first had gotten it, I could have returned it. But like that ship has sailed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I think just declutter this one in the end because it's not worth it to have my skin I don't know if breakouts the right word, but to have my skin have a reaction um, I don't think is great So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of these and I have pulled a bunch of replacement products that I'll talk to you guys about at the end um, For the ones that I've decluttered. Okay I have a one product that I have used up completely and that's the benefit of their real mascara Thank goodness. I'm over this the wand is like overly spiky. I don't think that my lashes looked that amazing I have played with so many mascaras since I first introduced to this that my love of this and my obsession with this has since gone away. Okay, the next item that I've been working on is my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. 
I feel like I am making progress on here when I look at where I was when I started, but like in my day to day, I don't feel like I'm using this up that quickly. This is what I have on my face today. I think it is a good bronzer for my skin tone. It's not super intense. I definitely could layer it up more if I wanted to, but I like the really subtle effect of it. Um, I'm happy to have this. I definitely need to focus more on other decluttering bronzers or working through more bronzers before I can buy another one of these, but I'm just going to keep plugging away on it because I really do enjoy it. I also have my Maybelline A Instant Age Rewind. This is on its very last legs. I do not have much more of this, which is fine with me because I actually just purchased and have been loving the ColourPop concealer. Uh, I definitely will come back to this, but for now I'd like to work through the ColourPop one a bit more, and so I'm happy to have this almost out since I seem to have fallen in love with something else. I also, I don't have markings on this because so I don't really know how to keep track of it, but I have been working on the Micah Beauty Cosmetics Eye Primer. This stuff I freaking love. I actually have um, another brand new one of these because I bought it not realizing how long it would take me to work through this. This stuff is super pricey. I had gotten both of these. One was in a boxy charm and then the other I had picked up with my boxy like charm perks. I didn't really pay for it, but I had like boxy points, whatever boxy charms program is. I got it through that. This stuff is super expensive. I don't know if I would pay $50 for it because I am someone who doesn't have very finicky eyelids. I do like though this cancels out. I think if I had prominent veins that would show through on my eyelids, I would definitely spend the money on this because it cancels them out with no problem and it's lasted me forever. Like I will be amazed if I hit pan on this before the year is out. And I'm trying to work on it evenly. That way I'm not burrowing down, but I'm working on all surfaces. So it's again, joy to use this. I'm not at all upset that I've not panned it yet. The next item that I have, I am really surprised I haven't used this up yet. It's the Sephora Gel Gloss Ultra Brilliant Ultra Shine Lip Gel. Like let's put ultra in there a few more times. Um, this is where I started and here is where I'm at. Man, this stuff is, like it really is a good product if you like the color. I don't love the color of this on me. Um, I feel like the Sephora lip products are pretty decent. I've just never really gone into that world because you guys know I'm not a huge lip person. Um, I just want to get this used up because I have other lip products that I had like planned out in my mind to finish up this year that I haven't touched because some of these things are just taking a lot longer than I thought. I have taken the stopper out. But some people are like, why do you do that? But I love the satisfaction of like getting all of the product out of this. And I definitely feel like we're getting close. So probably by the next update, this will be gone. The last two things I have that I've been working on are my two pencils. I have the NYX Wonder Pencil, which will go to my handy little notepad for. I was at the blue line last time and now I'm down to the black line. Um, not a lot of progress, but this ran away from me. I literally dropped it one morning when I was doing my makeup and I was like, ah, I don't have time, I'll pick it up later. And then like I went to look for it and I couldn't find it. The weirdest thing was it ended up falling into my trash can, but I swear I heard it hit the floor. So that was really like a much of a weird like mind trick on me. And I also don't know what made me think to check the trash can because I almost was about to throw this away. So I'm glad I didn't because I have been working on this for almost going on three years and it's still perfectly fine but it just shows you if you're using it for such a minute part of your body like your waterline it will take you eons to work through this the other product that i'm astonished that i've made such great progress on is the makeup forever eyeliner pencil you guys know i'm not the biggest fan of eyeliner pencils but i had two in my like finish this up in 2017 makeup box and i hadn't touched them at all so i finally pulled this one out and i have whipped through this this is how much progress um, I have made on this. And I'm at the point now where I can't sharpen this anymore. Like if you look closely, you can see that the plastic doesn't start until here. But when I go to put this into my pencil sharpener and then I try to twist it, the plastic part at the end will twist, but it won't get the pencil to actually sharpen. So once this has doled down, it will be done. I will be moving on from this. I have to say, I have really liked this. It is very creamy, so I do have to sharpen it quite a bit, but it lays on my eyes super easily. I don't have to fuss around with it, and it literally is like such a dark color. My only complaint is that I intentionally don't put any makeup in my tear duct because throughout the day, I find that I do clean out my tear duct area, 
And this stuff will sometimes transfer on to, um, like if I hit too close to where I have put the black eyeliner close to my inner corner, I will transfer either onto my nail or it will like press onto like the side of my face and I'll all of a sudden have like this odd black mark on my face. Sometimes the students don't tell me either. So I like go a good long chunk of the day with that on my face till I like happen to go to the bathroom during hall passing or like happen to look at my face when I'm like opening my closet door. And I'll be like, cool, like I've had this on my face for a while and I don't have that happen when I do felt tip liners. So that's like the only qualm I have about this. But aside from that, I haven't hated using this. Am I gonna transfer over to it? Uh, no, but I've at least gotten use out of it. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the products that I am bringing in to kind of provide some replacement, but also I've just kind of been wanting to keep track of them. So the first that I have is my other pencil. This is the uh, Lancome Drama Liqua Pencil Extreme Longwear Eyeliner in Noir Intense, because we can't just use the term black. So once I am done with Makeup Forever, I will pull this out. I think I have either just swatched this or maybe used it once, but I have no memory of that. So I will go ahead and mark it on the paper once I actually start to use it. It would be ideal if I could get this done before the end of 2017 because after having done my eyeliner declutter, I am now down to a very reasonable pencil eyeliner collection that I could theoretically work through in 2018, which would feel awesome to only, to only have felt tip eyeliners in my collection. The next thing that I have is this e.l.f. Hyper Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Bare. I will mark this when I'm done with this video, but this just needs to get used up. It is on the older side, it's not that great of a product, and it won't take me that much effort. I've been using this on the weekends, and now I just wanna fully like commit to it as a project item and work through it, so that way I will have finished up two lip products in this project is the goal. The last category I have is a little bit ridiculous. I have a lot of face primer samples and I really wanna push myself to use them all up before the year is over. And so I pulled them all out. I'm gonna put them in this project. I'm just gonna work on them one at a time and hopefully get through as many of them as I can. The first one that I have is basically almost used up. It's the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. This is literally like all the product that I have left, not even enough to like play a mark. I feel like two or three more uses, maybe at the most, this will be done. I'm not going to dig it out because I do have a full size stick, not of this, but of the Estee Edit, which no longer exists. The other one I want to use is the Laura Geller Spackle Treatment Even Tone Makeup Primer. Again, a deluxe size sample of this. I have the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty that I'd like to work through. I don't know if I'm gonna use this as a moisturizer or as a primer, I need to do a little bit more research on it. Then I have the uh, Josie Marin Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. This also, I've used a little bit, but I don't have a lot of memory of using it, so I'd like to get this worked through. Then I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is an oil-free formula that I'm sure you all know very well. I would like to get this worked through. It's never broken my skin out or maybe have a reaction, so again, it would be great. If I could get through all of these, and I'm not even done listing them all yet, but if I can get through all of them, It'll put me in a really good position in 2018 to work on like the full size ones that I really enjoy. Um, I also have this one from Pixie that I depotted and put into here that I would like to uh, use up. I have the Estee Edit Vanishing Stick sample. This is what made me buy the full size after a couple of times using this. Um, I'd like to just use the sample up because it is a good product. They don't make it anymore, so I'd like to get as much use as I can out of any version of it. Then I have this little um, pill pack. I've got the Becca first light priming filter and the backlight priming filter. I want to use both of these up. I've had this sample card for a while and it just sits here because they're kind of a pain to use, but I think if I put them in a project, I will be motivated. And the last one, I don't think this is a primer per se, but I wanted to just put it in here. It's the Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment and Illuminizer. So those are all the items that I'll plan on panning. I'll do another update probably in about a month's time. So we'll see where I'm at, you know, with just a couple weeks left in the year. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it, but that is it for me. I'll talk to you guys in the next video real soon. Bye.